Hello and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Space. Is that what we're calling this? My Adventures. My internet is out because um, in Australia we have shitty internet and I'm getting switched over to the good internet, supposedly. And yeah, he's, meanwhile, he's, I have no internet. He's, he's, he's just, just talking nonsense, trying to, trying to say his internet's better than mine, but let's let's get going. Oh, what am I doing? You've only got the one... Okay, Nathan's never played FTL in his life. So here we are, sitting in front of a computer screen, and he's looking at his ship. Now, do you know what the game's about at all? Space... managing a spaceship of sorts. That'll do. <laughs> um, Alright, now first things first, you're going to want to name your crew. Name, okay, uh, your okay. crew down the bottom. Oh, you can name your ship as well. That's a okay. bloody good idea. Okay, naming my crew. There's also different races. I do believe. Um, um, but not for you. Pit hard. All right. What a shit name. Moving on. I'm just expecting some kind of Han Bolo or Spork. Of course, of course. And going the other way. As you Han Bolo, there you go. Perfect. Just because right. he said. <laughs> so we got Pit Hard, Spork, and Han Bolo yeah. aboard. What's the ship gonna be called? Uh, uh, uh Log no, um, not Log. <laughs> That'll do. I couldn't think of anything. I just started hitting the letters. Log no, um. Great name for a ship. Um, uh, wait, wait, SS Lugnam. Now, we're gonna wanna leave the Advanced Edition content disabled because you're not advanced, obviously. Okay, where's that option? <coughs> it's disabled, just leave it alone. Hit the big go button, the start button, let's get out into space. Okay. With data you carry is vital to remaining Federation fleet, you'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before pursuing Rebel Fleet and catch up. Alright, now before we continue, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously hit 1 to continue. But, um, see old mate in the back of the ship in the engine room. Yeah. yeah. You're going to want to get Spork to go to the shield bay. Which is where? Uh, where it's the S with like the, the semicircle, it's like a crescent moon. There's click there. I can't remember how to make him move. No, you just, you just, maybe right click. It doesn't, it doesn't really tell you, does it? It's the first time I've loaded up the game, it hasn't told me anything. Um, well, there was a tutorial, we just didn't do it, because um, you know, I assumed I'd be able to remember. Well, that's oh, by the way, if you hit space, it pauses the action. Return crew to save positions, save your... Uh, oh, maybe I have to, like, here, and then... No? No, but just, get, just somehow make him get them, and he just needs to be there. He needs to be there. Um, okay, option... All right, controls. Crew control. Left click or drag yeah, yeah, right, right, right click to move to select your crew. So, yeah, you select so. them. And then... So you mean to say that when I said you should try the right click, you just ignored my I right clicked device. on him and then right clicked there. I didn't think left click then right click. Anyway, so he's going to the shield bay. Yep, cool. Alright, now we're ready to jump. <coughs> Are you jumping? <coughs> well, you got to start the game sometime. So this is the star map. It probably looks sort of like Mass Effect, which will make you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see what's at the first... Ooh! Oh, unfortunate. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to advance, have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your enemies. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Let's do this! Alright, so, um... I, press spacebar before you do anything else. Ah, right. pausing. Nice. Alright, someone's boarded your ship right now and it's a Mantis and those guys are pretty fucking good at that melee hand-to-hand -hand combat. Old mate's gonna probably die in a, in a real, real quick and gory fashion if you don't get someone in there to help. Get a double team going on. So I'd probably move the pilot into your your weapons room. Um, the pilot? The guy at the front of the ship. Just old mate. Yep. Where is he going? Weapons into the room. weapons room where, where you just had an intruder come aboard. I'd probably advise you to do something like that. No, no, the weapons, mate. Where, where the intruder is. With the two bullets. Where's the intruder? The guy with the red health bar. Oh, that's right, you're colorblind. You probably don't even see there's uh, an intruder. No, I'm also... Okay. He's... Pause, just pause, just pause for a second time. And we're back. Okay, so... Mr. Pitar is going to uh, where Yeoz is. Yeoz is the alien scum. <coughs> What's the name's already fighting him? Han Bolo. He shot first and everything. Um... So yeah, we're fighting Neos. Did we win? 
Um, win the fight. You're also gonna. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna need to get some weapons going on, and um, we probably should have just gone through the tutorial because this game's actually got a little bit to explain. I just realised. <laughs> My God. Maybe, maybe maybe we maybe we back out and we start the tutorial. <laughs> <Episodes> <laughs> fire. Uh, you got people burning to death. Um, this is not a good look. Oh God. Nope. Someone's died. Someone else has died. Yep. All right. Two, pe left. two people have died. And uh, quick, evacuate. <laughs> um. Yep. That's game over. That's it. Well, there you go. I'll wait till Spork dies. He's not gonna die in a hurry. Out the airlock, come on. Out the airlock. He's losing oxygen. Oh, good. There we go. We'll just let him slowly suffocate. So, that was a catastrophic failure. The first adventure in space! Okay, so main menu. So now we're gonna tutorial. Go to the tutorial. Yep. Welcome to FTR. You're the captain of a Federation starship on a very important mission. Our audience can read. They're probably literate, Nathan. Aw, Miss Spork. <laughs> They're all, you shouldn't have been such a shit captain. There's Thanks. no point sending more people now. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. It's gonna be done by the time he gets there. You're fucking wasting old mate's time, see? Yeah, okay. Man, I'd be pissed if you were my captain making me just walk around. Awesome, your engines are now repaired. Yay, I done did the thing. Okay, let's try this again. Welcome back. I had a quick tutorial. We're gonna, gonna do it. Ty's gonna talk and everything. You know what's gonna actually happen? Yeah. I'm gonna die? It's gonna be a catastrophic failure, exactly the same as it was last time. Wow. Just a leap pointer. The failure has started sooner than I expected. <laughs> oh, look at the last names and everything. It's kind of weird, like dehumanizing them like this. Um, we got 420 plays. And we got Joe. Can I just kill myself now and, and end it? <laughs> Is that an option? Yeah, you know, I only do this sort of stuff because I know it pisses you off. I wouldn't want to be on your ship. Around the ship, the cool kids. Okay. Should have been the cool boys. <laughs> that. Oh shit, it's that boy. Okay, starting. Continue. Alright, so. so first things first, we want to make a jump into hyperspace with the stars whizzing past our heads and an accelerated feeling of butterflies having a, some kind of orgy within your stomach. I like orgies in my stomach. Um, first seems to be a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from brutal exchange with several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Ignore the wreckage, investigate the battlefield. I'm gonna run into some sort of space pirates or something. No, I didn't. Um, nothing here. Ah, oh, distress beacon. Is that where we're? Is that no, what that it's, is? It's, it's one jump away. It's, no, that's not the distress beacon. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, it said distress and there was a little arrow. I thought uh, the new red I, thing I was on it. pure um, eyes. It's worrying that the rebels have penetrated so deep in unto into uncharted space. Even if it's only an unmanned craft. It's arms, it's weapons, you should do the same. Continue. Okay, pausing. So, I want s someone's already in the weapons room, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so, more good? You want, we want to get your weapons online, first of all. So, doing that. <coughs> and I'd say probably you're going to want to take down their shields. So, I'm going to get the Artemis, and whenever it charges, it's going to go. F whenever it loads, it's going to go for that. So let's do, let's just get going with this. Is that a drone? Probably the burst laser is Yeah, that is a drone. Probably get the burst laser going as well. Should I take, put that on the drone or what? Can no, I take no. the drone out? Um, no, you just take that ship. You, you have to take out the drone, you got to take out their drone control room. Which is The other there. one, that one. But, but you want to take out the shields, first and foremost. Okay. These, these ships, uh, without the people on board, are yep. pretty shit, to be honest. Fair enough. Come on, let's do it, boys. Are my shields up or not? Oh, they just take it down. Yeah, they got take, taken out offline. Fuck me. This drone is fucking my you, shit. Your, your weapons are online, by the way. Yeah, didn't I already fucking do this? Um, just, just hover over the weapons and suss out the way to have them auto-fire. Oh. You're probably gonna want that. No, that's okay, I figured it out. Um... No, you can have them, like, auto-fire off Yeah, yeah, down. no, but I clicked the wrong button before and it was my fault. Yeah, but that's still, that's still not auto-firing. Yeah, you did. 
The, the drone just stops. Oh yeah, the auto fire button, it's right underneath all the weapons. Oh nice. Ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Um, how do I repair? Um, you gotta pay someone to do it for you. Can I do it here or do I have to go somewhere? No, you gotta go to like a shop and find a shop. Okay. Um, jump. What are we gonna wanna uh, repair I'm gonna your engines yeah, and a bunch it, yeah. of shit? I knew something was going on here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and what else needs repairing? All the stuff that's red. And uh, someone's about to die. Oh, what the fuck? And, alright, 420 Blaze managed to survive. But no, the fire has now consumed 420. And uh, at this point, you may as well just kill yourself because one person's not enough persons for a ship. Uh, so our second attempt at space travel ended quite poorly as hey, well. Hey, look, we got through two jumps. Two jumps, mate. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes you to clear an entire area. We started somewhere else this time. Well, it's it's random where you are every time. Well, we started over here like both times. Um. Under the location, let's do this one. We are going into an asteroid field. <clears throat> a pirate ship was lying in wait in the asteroid field, it, it moves into attack, and we pause again. So, do we just want to see if it does it by itself? No, you gotta, you gotta set it up to start going before anything will happen. So, you know, hit number one, and then hit the, you gotta click the enemy ship so it knows where to shoot. Uh huh. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. There we go. Okay, so it's all auto firing and everything. Let me just go. Now, once the game's on pause, the enemy ship should start to get pelted. Um, oh, shields. These asteroid fields are pretty intense. God, we will not surrender. They send you a message. Your ship is surprisingly well equipped. <laughs> right, uh, please take this and let us live. We will not accept surrender. That's almost always not what you want to do. They usually give you something pretty good. Oh well. You get more scrap though. Usually. Ship explodes, leaves behind scrap. Cool. Okay. Well, that was the old driver's charging. Significantly more successful than last time. We're still in the um the old asteroid field, but we probably want to get out of here pretty soon. I mean the ship hasn't really seemed to take too much damage so far. Oh by the way, you don't want to race straight to the exit. You wanna sort of like bum around for a bit. Yeah yeah. Um, respectfully decline. We don't barter with terrorists. You don't barter with terrorists, I do. You make the exchange to uh, ten comes aboard to improve your reactor. Cool. Um, cool. So I'm just jumping again, am I? Yeah. Um, jump over this way. Ba ba da ba 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 da 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 da. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Intervene to defend the outpost. They look pretty fucking well equipped, eh? Oh, they've only got one shield and they haven't got that much health. Okay, we'll do it. Rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Continue pausing. We're gonna get this one on the shields again. So we just always attack the shields. Is that generally the strat? Um. You want to take the shields down pretty much straight away. So the Artemis is what you want to be hitting the shields with. You can use your burst laser on whatever you damn well please. Uh, sometimes the weapon system goes really well. Wait, is it the weapon <coughs> system here? Yep. Yeah, okay, we'll do that then. We'll try that. And go. I don't think it's targeted. It uh, I, I keep doing this thing because, like, to move the people, you left click then right click. And I've been doing that with the weapons too, and it's not what you need to be doing. Okay, come on. We're gonna take down this fucking... What does that look like? I, I've think, I feel like I've seen that shape before. <laughs> that, that ship um, shape. Um, looks like the ship from FTL to me. Well, there you go. Um, oh no, I'm thinking of Samus Aran's ship. Kinda looks a bit like that. There you go, took out the ship without taking any damage. That was expertly done. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Uh, I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Are you gonna make another jump um, further into the galaxy, deeper? Do I have any um, upgrade points, or how do I see, how do I see where it's, those it's, are? It's, you use scrap to upgrade your ship, but you don't ever have enough scrap, so you don't want to just be spending it willy nilly. Just put it in the main fucking all over our power. That's, um, well, at, le at least reroute the power that you've got, so that you got a little bit more power in your your engines and stuff. 
Also, right. you're probably going to want to move old mate from the engines to the shield bay so that you get a little bit more, uh, you know, less death. Less death. Um, can I put more power weapons, or I don't need it? No, well, the I Artemis late, the Artemis missile's not powered right now, but what the fuck? I um, mean, it's just this is going to combat. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll come back online. That's why it wouldn't be. Okay, jump. Oh, maybe you're, oh, you're out of missiles. That's why. Oh, would I buy those? Shops, but you don't don't, don't go back. I don't. You don't, don't want to go back. I don't know where going forward. I don't know where shops are. Uh, probably one second, just before we continue, hover over that little... This one. You're gonna have to go... There, I think? Here? Yeah, it's because it's you've got to keep moving through the galaxy. Even though you've already been there. It's a safe jump. You've also got only so many jumps you can make, but... Oh, really? You don't, you don't often run out of jumps. Make a big jump, then. Especially on pirate ship, hand over one of the crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. <coughs> Never surrender. Nah. They might give you a person if they if they try and back down. So these are burst lasers and won't do shit if they got a shield up. I've got no rockets, so what am I gonna do here? Just gonna burst laser their shield and hope you don't die. Right. That sounds like a great tactic. Um Yeah, maybe not maybe not waste all your rockets. I didn't realise I had a limited amount of rockets. Be no, no, rockets are pretty limited. Oh, you're gonna want to get your oxygen room fixed, or how do I? So do I just send people there, and they sometimes fix it, okay, and sometimes so, die? So what, what you want to what you want to do is you want to open all the doors to create a like to suck all the air out of the where the fire is, and then once the fire's put been put out, you want to send someone in to stabilize the situation. Right. Okay. You could have explained that before. Oh yeah, you got to just gotta learn by by experience, Nathan. That's how you become a true captain of a ship. Is that working or what? Yeah, you've taken you're taking the shields down as well. So like you're getting getting it all sorted. Um, do I need oh. someone in here? Okay. Yeah, you're gonna want to leave that person in there. Probably uh, close off the doors like that's open to the outside world. These ones. Yep. And get the pilot to charge down there and get that oxygen room fixed before everyone starts dying. Um. So he needs to stay in here with the fire. Yeah, probably move the guy from your shield room to the fire room as well if you if you want to do that. I don't know your shield. You probably need your shields to be up because you're not really going to be doing much damage to them. Right but like, now. I can't just leave him in there with the fire. What the fuck do I do? I can put it out. He's putting it out. Okay, but you'll fucking die. Well, if he dies, then move someone else in there and get him to the med bay. <sighs> okay. Oh well, yeah, he's probably going to die now because they hit you. They just hit your shield, your weapons room again. Don't <coughs> move him or what? What do I do? Just leave him in there. Not much you can do at this point. Okay. The, pirate, the pirates have fucked you up, mate. I mean, and once like four of your rooms go red, there's not much you can do from that point onwards. Cranking away, trying to get the shields back online, but... And he's dead. There we go. And that was the third time through. We got better, but, you know... What was new high score? 188, woo! Um, okay. Go hangar. Go hangar. Let's go to the hangar. Because that way you can change change everyone's name. Okay, we'll, we'll come up with something majestic this time. The Unicow. Don't call it that. Good name, good name, good name. Baroness. Very feminine sounding. Gives me a bit of a hard on. Hugo. Um, Hugo, kill yourself. <laughs> Orlando um, Bloom. No, well now I'm not going to do it. Um... Oh, so because I suggested Orlando Bloom, that makes it somehow a worse name. Just Lando. Oh, like Lando Calrissian. There you go. He's Hugo, black, Lando, but... and... Damo. <laughs> yeah, Damo, great name. <laughs> Hugo, Lando, and Damo! Here you go, mate. Alright. So look, okay, look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to cut the shit up out of that, but that's probably an episode. It's 30 minutes worth of footage, and yeah. So look, we'll call that episode, and we'll come back next time, okay? Okay, Tyne? He's, he's, he's trying to make this seem more realistic. We're actually gonna keep sitting here. Yeah. Okay, see you, Tyne. Don't believe him. Bye, Tyne. He's lying to you. Bye, Tyne.
a soundbite of me saying something like, see you guys next time, to make it seem more convincing that I, that I wasn't going to destroy this ruse. <laughs> Every time I end an episode, you're like, you're convinced that I'm like pulling an elaborate heist.